Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's live. Um, yesterday, we had a look at some SharePoint uh, file settings, and today we're going to go a bit further into settings on the OneDrive um, that we saw yesterday. So I'm going to show you um, quite quickly um, what files on demand are uh, within OneDrive. So the, this is a really useful feature um, of Microsoft 365. So OneDrive, as you know, is the file mechanism that, well, OneDrive is the app that um, stores your kind of personal files within Microsoft 365. But this feature also works for SharePoint sites um, in much the same way when it's synchronizing your files um, between your computer and the Microsoft 365 service. So uh, once again, welcome everyone tonight and also welcome everyone who is watching this on the recording. So let's get straight into the demo. I think um, fairly quickly tonight, we can show you um, what we mean by files on demand when it comes to Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, so let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so as we saw yesterday, here is our online OneDrive. So this is our personal area, contains our personal files here. Now, we yesterday saw also how we can synchronize these files or how really they are synchronized um, when we sign in to the OneDrive app on the computer. And here is my OneDrive here on my computer. So I'll just zoom in there so that you can see that. So this is my OneDrive for my company, and here are the files. <clears throat> so as we zoom in here, um, I'm sure you've noticed. So these are the icons that we're talking about. So we're talking about this cloud icon here, and we're talking about this green tick here with a white background. Um, and there's a couple more that we should be aware of um, because this will have some impact on the way that we work um, and also some of the things that we need to ensure we do if we're going to go presenting for example in a place that's away from our normal workplace and we're not sure what the internet connection is like potentially so you'll see here as well just as a bonus um, there's an additional icon just by the cloud there which is a kind of um, person icon and that shows me that the file has been shared with someone so that's what the uh, small icon next to the cloud is. And we'll now go into what these icons mean when it comes to status when we're talking about the OneDrive. OK, so you can see here that we've got uh, mostly clouds and we've got one there, which is a green tick. So um, here's a slide I've prepared earlier to explain this for you. So we saw yesterday that uh, the OneDrive app is a system tray app. So you can see here in the bottom right hand side of my screen here, we have the OneDrive icon. So this means that the OneDrive is running on the computer. So back to the slide there. So the OneDrive in File Explorer looks like this. So it shows you that it's the OneDrive and then it will usually have your company name after the OneDrive, and it will then have your folders underneath that. OK, and now here's where we get into the different files that are on your OneDrive. So up here, so you'll see this icon that we saw where there were quite a few of those on those files that we saw. This means that the file is in the cloud only. So if the file is showing the cloud icon, you will need an internet connection to be able to open that file. Um, if you tried opening it on your computer when the computer wasn't connected to the internet, you would find that you wouldn't be able to actually open that file um, and you'd get an error message telling you that the file isn't available at that current time. Okay, moving on to the next one. So the next one shows us that the file is currently synchronizing. So we've got two arrows going around in a circle, and that shows you that the file is currently synchronizing. Um, generally, that happens quite quickly, but depending on the size of the file, it can take a bit longer. <clears throat> and then if we just go back into our, <clears throat> into our slide there. So the next one is the 
green tick on a white background. And this means that the file is already synchronized. Excuse my terrible uh, drawing there. The file is already synchronized and the file is also available on that device at that moment. So for example, if you disconnected that second from the internet and you try to open up the file again, it would still open the file because there's still a copy of that file on the device and it's available for you on the device. If you're off the internet, uh, what will happen is that any changes you make to that file will then become available and be uploaded to the cloud the next time you log on. Okay, so that's the green tick on the white background. And then next we have our, oh, excuse me. So next we have our white tick on a green background. Now that means that the file has been synchronized and that file is going to be available on that device until you choose otherwise. Now there is a subtle difference between the uh, green background and the white background here. So both of them are synchronized and are available on the device. But notice here how I say at the moment for the white background. And for the green background, I say until you choose otherwise. Now, there is a setting that we need that will explain this for us. So I will move into my file here. So as you can see, this file here, say, so we'll zoom in on one of these files here. OK. And if I right click on one of these files, I have an option to always keep the file on this device. Now, if I choose, so if I choose that option, so I'll always keep on the device, it's synchronizing. And now what you can see is that on this file, we have the green background and the white tick. So let's just go back to the slide to see what that means. So already synchronized, and it's available on the device until you choose otherwise. Now, Files on Demand is a very clever technology that tries to work out how you're working, which files you're opening, and when you open files last, for example. And the reason why these files are only there for the moment is because if you didn't use that file, say, for a month or two months, um, depending on your usage of different files and the patterns that you're um, kind of using in terms of your file access, you might find that within 30 days, for example, this file is no longer available on your device. So I told you in the um, blurb for this, for this uh, quick tip that um, one thing that you should always do before you go and present somewhere where you're not sure if there's a proper internet connection is you should double check that your files either show the green tick on the white background or the white tick on the green background. If you want to be doubly sure <clears throat> that your file that you're going to use to present is going to be on your device, then the way to do that is to right click on the file within your OneDrive. There we go and click on always keep on this device and that will keep the file on the device until you choose otherwise and you can choose otherwise by right clicking again and say um removing that tick from the always keep the device and you'll see that that will now change back to that white background there so that's what you should always do before you go somewhere where you're not sure if there's going to be an internet connection you should make sure that you have one of those green ticks <clears throat> on your file, and you should do that as closely as possible to the presentation. <coughs> Excuse me. So you should do that as closely as possible to your presentation. Okay, and um, that is, in a nutshell, Files on Demand. So those are the icons that we want to see. Now, every now and again, you will potentially see a red X next to some file. So as you can see here down on the right hand side, I have actually got a red X here. And this is complaining currently <clears throat> about some, um, some shortcuts that it can't sync. So it doesn't like synchronizing um, the shortcuts to um, other sites. So it's just telling me that 
this shortcut, it's unable to do that. So I'd have to unsynchronize one of these other folders to be able to put that shortcut um, into my OneDrive on my computer. So don't worry about that too much um, right now. It's just a kind of clash in the way that OneDrive sees um, a, against this folder here. So um, OneDrive will bring your attention to anything that needs fixing, and you may see a red X every now and again next to one or two of your files. So just watch out for those. It means that they haven't synchronized properly, and you may have problems kind of um, sharing the latest version with your colleagues. Last thing to show you. So we showed you a couple of team sites uh, yesterday and the day before. So if I now go into my team sites here, we may have been talking about OneDrive and a OneDrive technology. However, we did mention also that it's the OneDrive app um, that synchronizes your files down to the computer. So if I go into my folder here for my um, SharePoint team site, you'll see that also I have exactly the same mechanism and it looks exactly the same. It's all consistent, so it all makes sense. This here is currently on my device, but it might not be in 30 days if I don't use that file. Last thing to mention, you might think, why does Files On Demand not keep my files kind of synced onto my computer all the time? Well, the main answer is to try and save space on your device. Um, Discs, kind of um, modern discs, are a bit more expensive than than um, the and a bit less spacious than they were kind of a few years ago. Um, now the modern discs are coming up back to the kind of size of, of where they were a few years back with older technology. But it's designed to just save um, that storage space on your on your device, and it's designed just to bring down those files that you're using kind of on a on a regular basis to your device. Okay, so that's today's tip, which was files on demand, OneDrive. Um, just a reminder, and it's on the bottom of the screen now. So head on over to our website. And if you want to um, get notified of uh, these types of uh, initiatives that we're running and also some live classes, for example, then please do kind of um, sign up to our mailing list. And also off the website, you will find our academy which currently has a Microsoft Teams Made Easy course on there and takes you through a lot of the kind of aspects of Microsoft Teams to make your kind of day-to-day -day more effective using Teams. Okay, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll be back tomorrow where we will show you what this button here, so this button, Live Components, does within Microsoft Teams. Okay, see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Bye.